Hello, my lovely people. These are all my thoughts and opinions based on public information out there. Please do your own research. And this is for entertainment purposes only. I, I feel compelled to do this video with you guys because share my views on this because I've gotten so many emails in Meghan's defense, Meghan Markle's defense, <clears throat> that she didn't know who the royal family is, um, that ha she known who the royal family uh, was, that, that she wouldn't have married Harry. I mean, I get so many of those emails. And this is my answer to these people. The reason why Meghan Markle married Harry was because he was a family, a member of the royal family. She targeted him. She knew who they were uh, completely. Um, do you think that she married Harry because of his looks or, <laughs> or his great personality? Or is he nice? That's absolute bullshit. She married this guy. She came to the UK and many people have, have, have said, come out and said that she came to the UK looking for a rich husband. She hit the jackpot, obviously. Um, but the only reason she married Harry, and this is just my thoughts and opinions, is because he was a member of the royal family. Of course she knew. She was even in the TIG talking about uh, the Duchess of Cambridge's marriage, you know, how she didn't like pomp, pomp and circumstance and blah, blah, blah. And this is a woman who was demanding a certain type of tiara and made a big fuss about it. You know what I mean? Um, so when, when people send me that email, those emails, like I've had about, you no know, 60 or 70, between 60 and 70 emails I've gotten this week about that. <laughs> how the royal family, because they're powerful, and poor little Meghan. There's nothing poor about Meghan. Meghan, you know, Meghan is a small-time hustler who, who, who has, hustler who got into who had the jackpot. And what happens with small-time hustlers who are not smart and who are ambitious, ambitious to an extreme, they screw everything up. Their, their true personality shows it's magnified in public it, it's out there for more people to see that's what's happening with what, what with Meghan markle is that her true character has more public now you know what i mean there's more people to see what kind of a crappy small-time hustler she is the only thing that she has that she has different right now is that she has more money and more um connections because of her husband's family uh, because any connections Harry has is because of who his grandmother is. That's that's where it ends, guy. This is why I've always advocated for that connection to be cut, at least the working type connection. Um, I think that the biggest favor or the biggest help that the royal family can give Harry is to strip him bare to his humanity, to who he is, which is Henry Windsor Mountbatten with no titles. To see, for to let him find out whether Meghan really married him for, for for himself, or else, I don't think Mary will stay married. Meghan will stay married to Harry more than. <laughs> I mean, the minute those titles are gone and all, and Meghan is made aware that any she has no connections and no benefits, and all doors are shut in her face, the minute that happens, Harry's out the door. There's no ifs, ands, and buts. I only deal with absolutes in this situation. She will absolutely dump his ass. That would be the biggest favor that anybody could do to Harry, for him to wake up to reality. Um, so for those of you who keep going on about it, yes, she did know who Harry was. She targeted and she groomed herself for his reality in order to attract him, attract him even more. Um, she has exploited, I mean, Harry's not a bright guy and as most royals, he's very arrogant. So in his reality, he can't understand that anybody would do that to him because he's above everybody else. That's how they were brought up to be. You know, I was, I saw P. Dina's uh, video about <clears throat> Elizabeth Holmes, the girl from Theranos. You know that I've been talking about her as well. 
the reason why she stayed longer, a lot longer than what she should have been and she wasn't exposed, is because she conned very powerful people who consider themselves smart. And therefore, those people could not allow for them to be made full of, fools of this woman. Do you know what I mean? They, they, so they continue helping her because their egos, their arrogance would not allow them to, to admit that they were conned by this woman. And this woman rode on their arrogance. And this is what Meghan Markle is doing right now. She's riding Harry's arrogance. Oh, Harry, I would never do that because you are you. You are the prince. You know, these people are lying. You are smart. So she's, you know, she's, I don't know if you say in English, stroking his arrogance. And it's, it's working because Harry is extremely arrogant. It's incredibly arrogant because they were brought up that way. Uh, his, her father said that she was raised to be controlling. He tried to switch it around. No, I tried to say that she was, um, uh, self-confident one thing is to be self-confident and another thing is to be uh, controlling and bully and then she tried to this is something that i find very appalling by mr marco because he tried to tarnish samantha with the same brush as megan mr marco has admitted on many occasions that he wasn't that much around for 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 um for samantha for his two other ki kids upbringing he knows that he divorced a wife and he was gone. I mean, he doesn't have a very warm relation. I don't know if he still has any relation. He doesn't talk very much about her, but Megan, Megan is his baby. Megan is his byproduct. So again, him arrogance is getting because he can't understand that he would create such a monster because he is arrogant. So for me, Megan doesn't fall far from the tree, you know, because he can't admit to himself that he created that. He's, you know, it's, it's a very Freudian slip when he said, oh, Megan was raised to be controlling. But why would he say that about Samantha? It doesn't make sense because by any stretch of the imagination, Samantha is nothing like Meghan Markle. And yet he wants to, he wants to include Samantha. So Megan is not the only bad person there. That is appalling and that is really bad parenting. And this is why Megan is the way she is. But for those of you, what do you guys think? Do you think that Megan didn't know who the royal family is? When she's already talking in the TIG, she has that magazine in 2014 or something like that, or two, uh, I can't remember which one it was, that she has that magazine when she was interviewing. You see the Duchess of Cambridge's uh, face on that magazine. I mean, this is a woman who was talking royal all the time. And when she was asked, I don't know if you've seen the, the, the she was she did this skit about when she was in England in one of the show and they did this really uh, rapid fire questions and they asked her, Prince Harry or Prince William? She didn't answer. Uh, she just kept thinking. She knew who they were. And this is years ago. So she did, she, she married Harry, not because of his look, but because he's an idiot that she felt she could manipulate. And, and she thought she hit the jackpot, which she did in many ways, but she turned it to shit. This is like when you, when you win the lottery. Uh, and you win a hundred millions of dollars or pounds and then you end up in debt broke and with bad rep because you don't know how to handle that because of who you are and this is what megan is and for those of you who say that megan didn't know the role of the monarchy she did know of course she did but she didn't care because she was not marrying harry to stay in the monarchy she was marrying harry to obtain the benefits of being married to somebody in the monarchy i don't know if i'm making myself clear with that it's not, it's not that she didn't know what the monarchy was about. It's not that she didn't know who Harry was about. It's not that nobody explained her role to her. It's, it's, the fact is, and I hope anybody would wake up to this, and everybody knows this, I think, that Meghan didn't care for the role of the monarchy. She didn't care for anything that the monarchy itself embodies. This woman has no loyalties to anybody but herself. I mean, even her kids, I really do believe, are in danger. Uh, but for her, it was, I'm going to marry the benefits of being a member of the royal family now that I got this sucker. She didn't bow to the queen when she walked down the back outside the aisle. What for? And that, I'm sorry, I'm going to swear, please. That fucking idiot of Harry didn't even bow to his grandmother. He walked past, right past her. 
So he is a disrespectful jerk. So those of you who are still defending Harry, why? Why? So tell me, do you think she did not know about the monarchy? Of course she knew. Of course she knew. And she's still exploiting everything about it. But these are just my thoughts and opinions. And I just wanted to answer all those people who keep sending me those emails. Stop being such wankers. Leave me your comments. <laughs>